blowing up a balloon. So we are going to talk about blowing up a balloon. I also have a straw here. We're going to go over these different variations. Um, why? Why would you want to blow up a balloon? Why does that strengthen your core when done properly? So basically a balloon overloads your respiratory system. So um, it overloads your diaphragm. So this is great um, for people that are wanting to get back to very high impact exercise, maybe like CrossFit or running. Um, overloading respiration also can bring out um, some weaknesses, some areas to work on. Um, a lot of times what we'll see is when you overload respiration, sometimes people will, will tend to um, bring in their neck and chest muscles to help out, or we'll see a lot of lower belly pooching, meaning you know they're not quite strong enough to do the balloon. They end up bearing down and pushing out on the down on their pelvic floor. Um, so that's another thing. You know, you can give it a try and see what happens, but it's we always use caution with balloons, especially for postpartum women, because if this is not done correctly, um, it can cause issues. We could potentially cause um, pelvic organ prolapse where um, you know you have some of your inter internal organs that start to um, kind of descend down and we just we don't want to cause any other pelvic floor issues so we want to make sure that you're ready for this so meaning you can exhale from the bottom up when you exhale you can feel your pelvic floor squeeze and lift you can feel your deep abs and ribs come down and you know you're not bearing down and putting pressure on your pelvic floor so if you have any questions at all um, on whether or not you can do that please see a pelvic floor therapist in person before you start using a balloon, okay? But I do wanna go over this because it's such a great um, core exercise. You can use it then to make any exercise harder. So once you master it, maybe in just like sitting or lying on your back, you can do it in a side plank, you can do it on hands and knees, you can make any exercise harder using a balloon. So first of all, just walk you through it. You actually don't need to touch the balloon because every time you inhale, with the balloon in your mouth, your tongue is gonna be, you're gonna press your tongue to the roof of your mouth. That will prevent, you know, you kind of like swallowing that air. So you'll be able to take a good inhale through your nose and then exhale, blow up the balloon. And you're gonna think of exhaling from the bottom up. So you're squeezing, lifting the pelvic floor. Everything should draw in, your belly should flatten here. No pooching out of the lower belly. So I'm gonna demonstrate a couple breaths here just in sitting. So I've got my balloon. Inhale through my nose. The hardest, side note, the hardest part is usually that first breath, getting the balloon started. So if um, you could also always have your partner or spouse blow up the balloon once and then have them pass it off to you and then you go, because um, usually that first breath is the hardest and you'll probably notice that from watching me here. So there's that in sitting. So well, let me let this go. Okay, so with every inhale, I press my tongue to the roof of my mouth so that I could take an inhale through my nose, okay? And then with every exhale, I was focusing on exhaling from the bottom up, squeezing and lifting my pelvic floor, drawing in my lower abdomen, um, bringing that rib cage down and in. Um, Again, that first breath is usually the hardest. Once you get good at this, or maybe practice, you can practice lying on your back, but then maybe we wanna try that hands and knees deep breathing. So where you, you know, you're tucking your low back and um, pelvis under using your deep abs. So this is another great place to add the balloon. and relax. So there, same thing on every exhale, I'm blowing up the balloon, engaging my deep abs, lifting from the bottom up. 
Okay, I'm going to show you one more position, a side plank to add. Um, so notice I don't have to hold on to the balloon when I'm taking my inhales and exhales. You can, but you don't need to. So let's do a side plank and let's watch my core um, and see what happens. This is going to be a challenge for me, so I'll be um, interested to see if I'm able to maintain good in core, core engagement or if we'll kind of show you an example of maybe when not to use a balloon. So it's always um, trial and error here at first. We're starting to modify for the shroom. there um, I didn't have great core control I was able to exhale and I felt my lower belly draw in but I also was um, squeezing a little bit at my belly button so I wasn't getting quite as much because that was a lot of challenge for me so I was having a little bit more difficulty feeling my pelvic floor and my lower um, my TAs coordinate with that so I might start by elevated side plank on the wall or something when with blowing up a balloon before I would come back to that position but just wanted to show you you can do this in all positions once you master it and make sure that you're not bearing down on the pelvic floor again see a pelvic floor therapist or pre or postnatal specialist um, in person um, if you have questions because this is so great it can often be the solution or just a piece of the puzzle for someone returning to high impact exercise that really needs um, to retrain and strengthen their core um, fully one um, step easier is grab a straw. So if the balloon, you try it and you're like, nope, I'm feeling myself putting pressure down my pelvic floor, grab a straw. You can do the same thing. So you're still overloading a little bit with your respiration. So any position, same idea, you know, hands and knees. Same idea there. So I'm exhaling through the straw, just overloads your respiratory system a little bit, easier than the balloon. So this is always an option. Um, again, make sure you work with somebody in person if you have any questions at all. We don't want you, um, you know, putting any more pressure or causing any other issues with your pelvic floor. So make sure you uh, are confident or get checked out before um, starting the balloon.